Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another fantastic episode of Last Minute Kickout. In a world of uncertainty and everything else, you can be certain that we will be uncertain about an upload schedule. Basically. Joining me, as always, is one, Mr. Kevin, the Kevin Eva, Eva. Yes, it is I. And one, Mr. John, the fake champion, Turbo Finn. <laughs> I don't think that's fake there. It's this actually fake. it's actually just this a uh, it's actually just a toy belt that's yep. just really close to the camera. <laughs> we, we had to, we we had to make him very small, far oh, away. Right. <laughs> um, we had to make him feel better. So uh, yeah. Oh sure, sure, better. sure. Yeah. Aye, aye. Because I, I I mean it's not like I wasn't losing for the best <laughs> best part of almost a year and whatnot, and only just gotten a win after all so long. Listen, Kurt Hawkins. <laughs> you may have the belt for now but Wrestlemania is coming and there's a challenge that we're going to lay on the line for you yeah it's coming but it's going to be coming in pieces well your challenge should come in pieces as well then shouldn't it Pete no I'm just going to do predictions for it and then if I win I get it and you send it to me in a box <laughs> He doesn't in fact, I don't, I don't even think so. <laughs> I'm just going to do predictions, and I think you should send it to me whether you win or not. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we are here talking about Super Showdown 2020. All the twos, all the zeros. It was a, sh it was a show. Oh, God. It was a, sh it was a show. I guess it was, a, it was a show of the same par that we've been dealing with for the best part of two years now. Of the wrestling pay-per-views from major companies this year, it is definitely within the top four. <laughs> Has there only been four? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> from WWE and AEW. It feels longer sometimes, I swear to God. This show felt long some, at some points. But it, it, it was long and boring and dull as old. And God we, damn it. And, and, and even... And, oh, even... Again, like last time, dangerous as hell. Mm. But yes, we will fly through the card as quickly as possible, talking about bits and pieces. And we'll start with the pre-show. We have the OC of Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson versus the Viking Raiders of Eric and Ivar. And um, yeah, do they want to bury the Viking Raiders any more than Vince already did with all the name changes? <sighs> I feel sorry for the... Uh, for... Uh, no, I'm just gonna call them by their original name, War Machine. It's like, it's like these guys have been are so much better than what uh, they're being booked as right now. And frankly, ugh, I'm just pissed off. I mean, granted, I like the OC as well. Like, I like Gals, uh, Gals and Anderson, but uh, um, really, this is just bad, bad. It's. The tag team scene has always been bad in WWE. It, it has been bad uh, since outside of, you know, the New Day Usos kind of like uh, mechanic and whatnot. Everything outside of that apparently just is not worth anyone's attention, especially Vince McMahon's. I'm trying to think of when you saying that, Turbo. I'm trying to think of when, if ever the Usos or the New Day have been sacrificed for the good of a singles program. Uh, I.e. main event singles wrestler gets to beat beat the tag team. I think they're the only two tag teams that have somehow avoided that. Because it's usually WWE's way that they go and it's like, okay, well we need to get find out a way to get, get you know, challenging heel, usually. Um, over, over, over a bit more before they go into the singles program. The best way of doing that is to beat the tag champs or beat another uh, the, the tag teams out there. Uh, I don't know. It's mm. it's WWE's way, and WWE's his way sucks. Yeah, but this match was just short and forgettable. That's pretty much what it was, and. Uh... <sighs> <sighs> and guess what? Just... The OC got a victory. My, I don't think that's to push anybody else and look, make them look strong going forward. My God, my God, the greatest tag team in the world got the win in Saudi Arabia. Oh what my. are the chances? Oh my, that's like Braun Strowman winning. Oh, 
Oh well. Moving on. Main show. <laughs> I was, did you actually watch the pre-show, Pete? No. There we go. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Main show. Folks, actually, before we get any, before we, before we go any further, there is a... Um, oh, hello. <laughs> before we go any further, can I just say, over the course of this pay-per-view, um, did they have that laser display on like sale or return or something uh were they like i like hide it out because they use that to just ridiculous extremes hmm. for everybody for everybody I, I, when seth came out he pretty much gave everybody um, a seizure in the <laughs> audience uh uh well that's not the only problem that was going on uh during the broadcast i mean did you hear that broadcast? Because I sure he hell was hearing something, and it wasn't the commentators at times. There was there was weirdness going on the whole thing. Ah, oh, that 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 show was just poor on a technical standpoint Did as well. Did you actually hear the the rumor on the grapevine that the show was intentionally being aired badly so that uh, WWE had a official reason to pull out? <laughs> I call that BS because frankly they've got apparently they have a contract they can't break. Ten years. I mean there, there's always there's always stipulations years. to break contracts. Uh yes. Uh so we're gonna start at the the main show. Highest point of the of the thing, and then it all goes downhill like about ten minutes into this Matt first match. It is the gauntlet match for the two ache. I think, I think I pronounced it. Two Wake Trophy, which has never been seen again. Huh. The aggro it, crag. It, it was. It was so. Oh, spoilers take a one. Um, but it was. It was such an important trophy. Taker left it behind. <laughs> he left <laughs> he it in won. the country that he won it. At. I yeah. love that. You love that. This is this, this. Cole's building up this trophy like it's the most beautiful thing in existence on commentary. But he always so, does that. I know. And in fairness, I mean, in fairness, the, the big trophy they had, you know, with, with, with the scimitars and what have you, I thought that was really cool, actually. I I honestly like the fact that this is the third random uh, gubbin that's been on a... Um... No, it's more than that. Uh, no. no. Uh, actually, yeah, you're right. There's four. Two, two uh, there's been trophy, the, the um, one with Greatest the Royal Rumble. Greatest Royal Rumble, and obviously the belt as well. But, so that's two. Oh, yeah. tag I team, forgot, I forgot, greatest tag I've, team, greatest wrestler in the world. So yeah, yeah. I forgot. I forgot the 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 fucking belt for the Greatest Royal Rumble. I, I remember the two World Cup McGubbins, but yeah, yeah. Braun again, Strowman's first championship, really not the IC title. Again, I actually really like that green belt. I, I think that looked kind of cool. Oh, D uh, Digi would have loved it. Oh, Digi would love it. Digi loves the 24-7 belt. Hooray! Um, yeah, no, um, I really liked the 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 mental and physical destruction of R-Truth before storylines took over. I thought that what? was a lot of fun. What was up? I, I, I kind of, I was initially going, what when I was watching, what's up? I was doing a hurricane, what's up with that? Um, <laughs> because, I was like, why, are, I said this to Turbo, didn't I? It was like, why are we giving our truth the Kofi uh, the... Kingston push right now with a gauntlet? Well, funnily enough, he did have a 24 special. And that's uh, why we wanted our truth you know, to get up in the spot. So he, had, he, has rele he had relative, uh, re relevancy for a brief moment, especially in Saudi Arabia. And uh, yeah, uh, all great moments have to end, and it did end eventually. Took a while. Yeah. Did, uh, in fact, it's nice to see Archer get a decent run out. I mean, it's not like fair he, enough. He but good, he's, he's not like he isn't a good wrestler because he is. Yeah, but he's just too. Uh, what was it? Too hokey of a joke wrestler in WWE. He had some legitimacy outside of WWE, you know, with TNA and all that. But other than that, it's just uh, too hokey truth. of a joke. Uh, yeah. But it, it it's uh, oh, by the way, do make sure you watch that twenty four of our truth because it's fascinating. Oh yeah, uh, and it, it really does put over the fact that you know, in terms of the backstage people, he's one of the most loved people. That, uh, uh, Vince loves him. Oh yeah, I mean, Vince absolutely loves him. 
And it's like, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> anyway, we had... Uh, who's, we, it, it, Eric Rowan, Bobby Lashley, Andrade... All uh, especially to... Andrade. You say, welcome back, Andra- Andrade, uh, after yeah. being suspended well, for over a month. No, we have got to punish him somehow. Um, but yeah, they were all beaten into various into various degrees by our truth and all of them took it exceptionally well our <laughs> truth didn't get the crap beaten out of it <laughs> like every time afterwards uh, but it was all it was all the preludes our uh, truth the rise of our truth mania which you'd probably call king of the ring or something um, it was all a prelude because uh, it, uh, AJ Styles came out and AJ Styles wasn't having any of it because AJ Styles is a heel at the minute, so naturally. Mm-hmm. This, 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 isn't, this isn't like the AJ Styles who, again, again, the Kofi thing, coming out and going, you don't have to fight, you don't have to fight me. No, 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 this is the AJ Styles that comes out and beats the crap out of you. Mm-hmm. Toys with you, but plays around with you for, for a bit, and then... Then puts you out of your misery. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, it would lead up to the uh, the end of, of the match where, you know, it was going to be Rey Mysterio, and wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know it? It's like we we get this moment, and uh, there's been a lot of this uh, kind of like um, uh, booking where someone who wasn't supposed to be in the match gets into the match and wins said match. Happened with Brock Lesnar with the Money in the Bank uh, contract. And then now, again, with uh, Undertaker. Only to just build up to a storyline for Mania, of course. Yes, the Phenom versus the Phenomenal. Um, which is something that people were sort of been touting for a long time. And we know that it says a lot about what Taker feels about AJ. Because, you know, it's like it goes back to what we've been saying previously in the previous episodes with regards to Drew and working with Drew, etc. And, and, and what have you. It's, it's like these are the people. You've got limited shelf life. Even he knows this. And it's like these are the people he would like to work with. So if, if AJ has been picked, he's been picked because A, it's going to be, you know, AJ's a worker that can do great things with Taker in the ring. And B, it's because Taker respects AJ Styles and what he does. Hmm. But yeah, but yeah was... just how how it ended was just very like last year. It's just one choke slam, done. No, he didn't even take his stuff off. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Literally beat AJ with a singular move with his... with yeah with the tertiary finisher. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, oh, did you guys spot? The d- did you guys spot the Kevin Dunn hasn't thought about this mistake? So, um, in case you didn't, as we know from previous, uh, and the fact that they played his, you know, his special Saudi Arabia version of his Tron, Rey Mysterio's mask gets changed when he goes to Saudi Arabia. Oh yeah, because the cross on top of it mm. that's why when you see the troll it's like really close up on his eyeballs so you don't see it when he's in Saudi Arabia um, they didn't do you it, may they? have been clued into the fact that Rey Mysterio was not in Saudi Arabia because when they filmed this he had his normal mask on <laughs> with the cross uh, and I'm sure nobody's really mentioned this but I'm sure WWE got an absolute rocket because that was the case. Normally, got like the R. He's got there's like the version with the R on or what have you. Or just or nothing, or nothing on at it. all has been previous. And uh, yeah, so Rey Mysterio wasn't in Saudi Arabia when this was filmed. Clearly, uh, likewise. Even though, wait, wasn't he? Wasn't there a photograph of him in the airport of well, Saudi Arabia well have, when he, he came he, along? Well, with that's that's he may well have been there, but that well, if that was filmed, if that was. I think that was filmed some time back, like previous week. Hmm. Which would who then, knows? which would, which would then play into well, whose boots are they, and whose whose cosplay is Taker? Who knows? A question for another time. Jeez. It just throw maybe, it on the maybe pile. Maybe it was maybe it was Kane. 
I think this is another thing that can sit on the pile of rumor mills for the thing. I'll be honest. Well, I was going to say, just throw it on the pile uh, along with the same ones like, uh, you know, who threw the pie at Kevin Owens. Uh, yeah, exactly. Anyway, moving on. The Miz and John Morrison. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Against the New Day for the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Has Xavier Woods died? He's still out with his ankle, isn't he? I know. Yes. I just want, I, every time I see them wearing the the armband, <laughs> well, that, that's why they're wearing it because yeah, yeah because they're they're because they're, he's they're dead. Uh, he's yeah. dead. It's it, in in remembrance. Yeah, ah, it's in uh, it's uh, remembering their fall, fallen comrade, but uh, yeah. you know, they're not that fallen. They're just on the wayside oh, fallen. The it's fallen like, angel Xavier Woods. It's either that. Or they're just really keen on another 15. And I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'll, I'll, actually, it would be 15 for that. Never mind. Ignore me. I am very tired. I was going to say, I don't think W exists in the. Yeah, thing. Just, I just, thought this was. Two um, B's. Two B's. I, th- I think this was um, the apex of the show. Like, I think it was the best match on the card, to be honest. Very good. Yeah, it probably was the best one. Like I was ragging on about uh, Raw's tag team uh, division, SmackDown's tag team division is slightly better. And uh... SmackDown's tag team division is really good. The problem is, is that it's not utilized very well. No, it's like uh, it, was, um, it has, um, you know, it has problems because it's got the New Day and the Usos as part of it. So yeah, yeah. Um, got to say, Big E looking. A little more svelte than he used to. He's uh, not, not as he's, he's not he's not big e anymore. He's sort of more much more of a leaner e in T- leaner e. So you're yeah. saying that the big show is no longer the big show. He's more the lean show. <laughs> well, uh, well, he's big. He's just uh, uh, f- not uh, you know big that way he's built but, yeah, but he, he, he's lost a bit more he's lost a bit of a lot of bit of bulk well he's granted there, but well granted we're always uh they always uh up their kind of like uh, fitness regime try to be more leaner and whatnot maybe, maybe. in the lead up to uh, wrestlemania so it's it's always the case mm. but i thought that was interesting um a lot of interesting moves here it's great to see obviously miz and morrison back uh, they really haven't lost a step nope. despite you know, a good decade of separation. Hmm. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, you know, it's just them pr- uh, bringing the chemistry back in uh, that they had back in the day. And uh, uh, both of them have obviously, you know, um, kept on going with their career so- solely for a number of years and whatnot. And uh, being able to just, you know, get back into the groove. Hmm. And it's, it's good, you know. If Miz continues to do his like shark fin thing on <laughs> on John Morrison slow mo, I I think I might start to dislike the Miz, <laughs> the Miz again. Just like please stop doing that. It just makes you look like a goof. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not. I was, I was going to say it should be more like arrogance it, thing, thing, which is the Miz's the Miz's you know. It just didn't just go yeah. Yeah, well, I was gonna say he should. At, at least he's not putting it a little higher, so he's uh, making uh, himself, uh, you know, the red he rooster. <laughs> he has he has changed it recently. Now they have the belts where he just like holds it. He goes like that with the belt. So yeah. Yeah. I like I like okay. the fact that they're still they're doing both themes. Um... No. Yeah, no, no mishmash of themes, please. Don't do that, WWE. You're bad. Was- at it. I, it's it's sensible of just having them come out one in one after the other you know instead of mashing it all together you know, speaking, like, try, of, uh, speaking of things have you heard who's returning who's getting his back uh would that be this gentleman here it would, uh, monsieur jeffrey hardy yes. getting an old wwe theme back no more words is coming back he has confirmed mm. which makes sense because it's the hardy's theme is the hardy's theme and you know, yeah leave it alone now leave it alone he's gone Matt is gone. You made it clear you didn't want him to, you know, help other wrestlers. So, so. That's exactly what they wanted him to do. They wanted him to be an older off-screen fucking talent enhancement. Yeah. Whereas well, they wanted... one was like, hey, let's actually help current 
the stars you were like Lara Khan get them over and she was like no no no, no. not do that um I really enjoyed this match considering what else was on the card it was by far the best match to watch yeah I mean granted uh, some of the bumps though were just uh, uh, ridiculous I mean Kofi's uh, trust fall dive that I, I actually winced when that happened. It was a, a very hard di- uh, hit on that one. I, I I'm surprised he's not. He didn't suffer anything major after that. Um, but yeah, it was uh, very impactful and uh, you know hard hitting. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it it was good. And of course, to get the shock win of uh, Miz and Morrison winning the t- titles at uh, Super Showdown. Fair news. Try to make it interesting. Miz and Morrison. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Yeah. Yeah. Was, <laughs> not much to say, really, other than that. I mean, it, was, it was nice to see nice to see them get the, the, the titles. And from having not a lot to say, we move on to Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo. Kill me now. I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of this. This is the feud that never ends. This, this is, is the feud, feud that, that never, never ends. God damn it! Oh, Honestly. Sake. Why is this a thing? Who asked for this? Sorry. They're great. They're they're decent wrestlers. They're fine. They're good. They can do the flippy shit. But by God, I we are sick of it now. The flippy shit. <sighs> Curious me, sir. Could you do... I'd like to order one round of the flippy shit, please. Yes, Mr. Uh, Cornet. <laughs> Are you sure you're feeling all right? <laughs> Young man, give me Wait, one round of the flippy shit. Can I, have a, can I have one order of the flippy shit with a side of dive? <laughs> side of dive? <laughs> oh, dear. Honestly, this match, like, granted the work rate between the two, they know how to work each other, that's fine, but the match is just old now. Getting old. They, they had one special little thing, and it was a roll up. The, oh, the, 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 the roll problem, up. The the problem is, is that it's the same match over and over. And yeah, that, yeah that's, it's between. It's, it's, it's what's getting tiresome. Like, pay per view type stuff should be for special type matches to yeah. end feuds, and we're just seeing the same match that we're getting on a TV show. Well, we saw, we've been seeing this match happening, uh, like. The lead up to Super Showdown, we've saw this match like three separate times beforehand, and it's ridiculous. It's been like, and the, it, third or, it's been like the third or fourth match on a pay per view for what seems like forever, and and it, and it was only to substitute the the rivalry between uh, uh, Garza and uh, uh, not Angel Garza, um, Carrillo, uh, and Carrillo and uh, Andrade, Andrade, yes. Aye. Which and, it was, and that itself was a substitute with Rey Mysterio. Mm. It, this, this, this is this is this weird thing of this feud, just like feuds, feuds do sort of go from one to another, but this one's gone from one to another just by substitution. It's the Hispanic like, storyline. Andre, we need to replace one his, one Hispanic wrestler with another Hispanic wrestler. Fits in the back. No one. No, no. No, no difference. The Hispanic chain of Hispanic. storytelling. Oh. If if Sin Cara was still with them, Sin Cara would Oh, he'd probably be thrown in, into in the mix as well. Oh, God. Who's it going to go oh. to next? And maybe that's why it's taking so long. They're trying to think of where it's going to go next. Or they're waiting for Andrade come back to come back so that he can substitute in for Humberto so that it's then Andrade and Angel Garza. And then it could just like a loop round again. So, 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 who would uh, Zelina Vega manage in that situation? I don't then? care. I was uh. Zelina Vega was the most interesting thing in the match. And Wait, I... she was there. <laughs> exactly. Uh. <laughs> I'm getting confused with Royal Rumble because I know she's in there. Yeah, she was. She was most <laughs> but... definitely not there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> They, I think the only f- females that were there were Lana and the women's title match, which we'll get to uh, we'll get soon. To, which was interesting for another point. But... And even Lana didn't do much. Uh, La- Lana came uh, out. For... She Maybe. came out and then I went back. I am beautiful. Now I'm going before you say anything. Yeah. Before you throw a bottle at me. Yeah. Like. <sighs> Both of them got 
bottle thrower the most, haven't they? Uh, well, it was Natty. Uh, did, it yeah. was only Natty. Yeah, it was only Natty. The face, Scott. <laughs> the face. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. But yeah, this match. Fuck this match. It's like in terms of like I didn't want to see it. Like I did not. I'm just not invested with the storyline between these guys. It's this is WWE trying to build new faces in the worst way possible. I think. Oh yeah, it's the worst way possible. Of just repeating the same matches yeah. over and over again. It's just it doesn't work. Uh, the less said about it, the better, I guess. Um, so here we go then. Seth Rollins and Murphy versus the Street Profits. Right, here we go. Raw <laughs> Tag Team Championships. Okay. Okay, he Isn't says. Seth Rollins supposed to be the man? Not counting no. the man, obviously. No, he's the Messiah at the moment. He's the Messiah. I, Not yeah. the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Okay, so... As leader of the Crap Edge Society, um, Seth, why have you made Seth Rollins boring? Mm. Why, why, why have you made him this average? He's he's supposed to be your guy. He's supposed to be you know top heel or whatever. Why have you made him this 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 average mid card wrestler? WWE, what he's are you Fonzie. doing? He looks like he's mugged the Fonzie. Is what he's done. He's mugged <laughs> Fonzie. Um, Murphy is now ba- uh, Murphy, oh, another person who's lost their, you know, Mojo, lost their half their name because reasons. Can't wait for him to shovel down Murphy's law at us. You know, um, I can't wait for that to be a, a thing that Vince uh. suddenly decides. A, Vince suddenly stumbles across, you know, forty years after everybody else. Um. The uh, the street profits are, profits are fine. They're fine. I mean, uh, they, it wasn't it wasn't doing them any good uh, leading up to this match because or leading up to their matches because everything that they did backstage was just ugh. that was weird. That was a very it's been a very weird way of getting them introducing them to the all, the main audience because they, they've been backstage for again. It's fine to give them like, personality and stuff like, like that. Years. Yeah, it feel it's fine to give him personality and whatnot, but to get but the stuff that they were doing backstage and with all the skits and whatnot, it was just uh, it ridiculous. Was w- it was like w- just it was also du- it was also main roster scripted stuff, and because of that, it really didn't help their characters, which they'd gone over so well in NXT. Yeah, so I'm still highly confused at why the belts are on Murphy and Rollins. And not AOP. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. It's... I, I, I just feel that the faction the faction itself would be better if you have the tag team specialists hold the tag team belts, give the mid-card belt to Murphy, give the fucking main belt to Rollins, and just go fucking four-man power trip on the whole well, ball roster. Well, that's the problem with the current current tag divisions. But in both tag divisions, it's not well-established, co- cohesive teams like that, that are like the Usos, Heavy Machinery, you know, the Street Profits. What? No, it's like Wrestler A, Wrestler Sorry, B. Dol- Dolph that's Ziggler it. and Robert Roode is a well-established tag team. No, they're. Uh, I'm saying that's not a well-established ta- tag team because obviously they're not. You know, it's like it's like, yeah, it's like how having dare two you single threat- the name of Rudolph. How dare you, Robert Roode? Robert, don't call him Rob. Oh dear. Uh. But just having two single wrestlers come together and form a tag team, I'm getting sick and tired of that. It's, it's well, oh, you know what would been really interesting, actually, and I think we've I think I alluded to this last time around, but, but that was ages ago, so I'll be alluding to it again. Uh, like, if you're gonna do that, you kind of have to give AOP something because what's AO, what is AOP gonna get out of this? Give them both the. It makes it, 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 since although this makes any sense anyway. Give them both of the secondary belts. Give them the US title and the ice title. Because then that throws everything out, out of whack. 
Because, like, how's the mid card supposed to deal with this shit? And that would be kind of interesting. Suddenly, I, I, it's like, okay, well, it's actually everybody against this yeah. faction, as opposed well, it wouldn't to, be, you know, these feel, guys. It wouldn't make like, any sense. I feel like until the What's main that? roster belts are back on the main roster, you know, Like, in proper rotation. Mm. Yeah, I just, I just feel like the, the whole system's fucked. Uh, mm-hmm. they're, they're still trying to get out of the mindset of the damage in terms of visibility that Brock's reigns have given the belt. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of changed what they consider the norm. The result being that it's just... I don't think they... Un- it's weird to, I don't think they understand how championships work anymore. Well, certainly not the top ones. Well, that's that's what happens when you get uh, these uh, uh, writers coming out, uh, coming in from the outside world of uh, other kind of like uh, media and tr- trying to get them to write into storylines and book book uh, hmm. these matches and stuff like that. And what we're talking about don't is have any I understanding. I want to point out, I feel because I've been going for a state where I've been watching like like vintage pay-per-views like the two i've I've started back at raw rumble 2001 and i'm working my way through a uh, thing and you can just tell that the crowd have just got so much more energy compared to recent wwe pay-per-views because there's just I, i'm not sure if it's to do with the fact that they're done in these massive stadiums and you just can't hear it, the crowd but it just feels like there's no energy mm. at all there's because less investment in characters now yeah but even like even the heels had such you had a reason to hate the heels because back in 2001 with the right to censor people were still fucking getting in, involved in that sort of match because they hated right to censor you know yeah and but it's, all, it's also that now. all right so it's also the time uh, the time of this years now where people are just not uh, like obviously they know what it's all about now it's like it's all we're all smarks now and uh we know what's what's going on and whatnot, uh, but no, in in it's Kev's right. It's like there there's no established kind of like um, you know people to boo and cheer on on the same kind of like level as back twenty years ago. You know, people heels don't do you know despicable things that much anymore. No, and it's and it's when they do. That everyone goes nuts. Mm-hmm. Think, um, think Jeff and or Orton. an edge. Think Jeff and Orton in the cell. Screwdriver. Oh yeah, no, oh, you don't that. even have to think Jeff. You just look at Orton now. Just, just, yeah. Orton, yeah. Just, Orton, Orton, just Orton anyway. Look at Orton. Orton's, look at this Orton's, asshole. <laughs> Orton's literally the biggest heel in the company. Yeah, Orton, Orton, and, and, and can get cheered still for doing those despicable things because everyone, everyone loved Orton. Ev- Orton's I asshole th- that's I... going to attack you and, and that played I... into the Rumble it was what made the Rumble so damn good I, d- I don't even think Orton will ever be cheered again I'll be honest with you yes, oh, he's, I, after... he's doing RKO he's fine <laughs> he doesn't want to yeah. be cheered at all but there's very few I mean, truly despicable heels everybody got worked up when Baron Corbin uh, hit Becky Lynch revenge of days. Oh, that was brilliant. That was that, I that, 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 I, I thought it was that was, such that was sold way. like people were gonna get their pitchforks, you know? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pitchforks were burning torches. Um and man, rewind fifteen years ago and that would have just been raw. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, that that was a Monday night raw. It was Monday night raw, yeah. Yeah, on a week almost on a weekly basis. Yeah. But yeah, we, we we've got a little bit off track. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so 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 um, this match. Matt, Matt, uh, so Matt Hardy and Shannon Moore defeated the Street Profits, <laughs> and uh, Murphy actually, in fairness, Murphy did quite a lot of uh, some really nice oh, moves. Oh yeah. That. Da, da, da. Pete facts. Pete loves green screen. 
<laughs> Indeed, he does. Are you are you a follower of Petertude? Petertude. That's an interesting name, Peterlude. He just head by his oh. microphone. I make Kev sad. I'm, I think I made Kev sad. <laughs> Atheism is a choice, everybody. <laughs> it is. Why? But why be an atheist when you can be a follower of Peter Tude? PD Boy V1. 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 <laughs> so moving along. Anyway. So the mm-hmm. street was. The, uh, they defeated the Street Prophets. Uh, the Street Prophets are pretty ordinary, actually, even in the ring as well. Uh, so there, there was some really nice stuff Murphy, there was really, some really st- nice stuff Murphy did um, but it was v- still very much an average match you made Seth Rollins look an average wrestler and he's one of everybody as opposed to you know one of your top names um, and, and even- wouldn't you know it the, the, the match uh, on Raw the, uh, the following week you know would be better than that yes so... it would end up being better than that which says a lot yeah, it goes back to the same problem once again, unfortunately. So okay, let's move on to the the yearly let's push Mansoor in his own country of Mansoor versus Dolph Ziggler. Uh, I'm actually okay with this. No, you shouldn't be okay with yes. this. Okay, so I'm okay with this because it's um it's the uh, British bulldog rule. But look, look, no, no, no. British Bulldog only got it one time. Every other time, he got either buried or just basically didn't have much of anything to say. Like, uh, the, he, he, the, all, the only European big title. win he ever had was at SummerSlam 92. Was it? And that was in, the, and that was in England. Every other England pay-per-view that he was featured on and whatnot, he would lose. Can, can we... Can editor fact check this? Um, I mean, obviously there's the Sean one. I like how this is going to be an editor fact check. Are you actually going to find the time to yeah, go in and put, t- do a pop up what? on here? Pop up, wing. Kev was right. <laughs> I mean, I could just do that anyway. <laughs> well, that's that's what I thought you were going to do as an editor fucking fact check. Kevin was right. Turbo has been stripped of the belt. I, 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 need, I need you to do, like, as an editor thing, I need you to just do, like, the fucking time skip thing and be like, bring! I mean, it'd be like, it was in this moment that Kev realised he was right. Yes. Champions of... No, I, I'm silly, because I'm pretty certain, like, you know, even if you just not count in house shows, and, I mean, house shows obviously a different thing, I don't know. But, yeah. But normal, normal tours and stuff, Pretty certain bulldog, or you know, no, unlike this is TV, all before on... this is before the the whole thing of oh you're in your hometown you're gonna lose. Well, I was gonna like, what was it? The only big notable one was ninety two. Well, yes, that uh, kind of what, uh, one 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 night, you know, uh, the one night pay per view. I don't. I've, uh, to be that... fair, if one you're gonna win as a hometown is SummerSlam ninety two. That's not a bad thing to ask. Yeah. No, of course. That was like a big we've, thing we've, back we've, then. We've, we've got, we've got for, for, in terms of Bulldog, the highest of highs and lowest of lows was obviously in, in UK pay-per-views. We know that. Um, but I, we need to... I, 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 this, actually, I'm generally interested now, if you're right. Ladies and gentlemen, wrestling fans of all ages, welcome to our special LMKO feature, Who Was Right? The question has been asked, was the British Bulldogs booked strongly during UK shows? Kevin says yes, Turbo says no. Let's look at the evidence. During his runs in both WWF and WWE, British Bulldog took part in seven UK-based pay-per-view slash events. Within those, he had eight matches. It all breaks down as follows. UK Rampage 1991. Bulldog beat the Berserker. He also 
in 1991, took part in the Battle Royal at the Albert Hall. There, he beat the Barbarian and won the 20-man Battle Royal in back-to-back -back main events. In UK Rampage 1992, he beat IRS in the main event. At SummerSlam 1992, he beat Bret Hart in the main event and captured the IC title. At WWF One Night Only in 1997, he lost to Shawn Michaels, and let's not mention this again. At 1999's Rebellion pay-per-view, he won against X-Pac. And at Insurrection 2000, he won the hardcore title from Crash Holly. Seven wins, one loss. I think it's safe to say the British Bulldog was book strongly during UK shows. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back very, very soon with some more Who Was Right. Until then, enjoy the rest of your episode of LMKO. And remember... Kevin was right. But, 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 I, I'll but, but I'll tell you this, it's nowhere near Monsoon. Because Monsoon is just basically, he is, he is the John Cena. No, he is the Undertaker of Saudi Arabia. And even Saudi Arabia are get, turning don't, against don't him. Don't worry, John, he's laughing because he said Monsoon. And we both thought Gorilla Monsoon was getting this fantastic push in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Which Sorry. I'd be all for. <laughs> I'd be all for push Gorilla Monsoon. <laughs> so that yes, back. Beautiful. So yeah, as as they watch from the Mansoor position. <laughs> but oh, I, no, I, I take uh, what you're saying. I take what you're saying from from our point of view as the Western audience. This is like. Uh, this is, you know, effectively a throwaway thing for the local audience. It's gonna happen, it's gonna keep happening, they'll build up to something whereby he's got a, like a little Undertaker streak going on just for the hometown. And who knows, they may then put somebody over him. Who knows, it might end up being a big thing and then, he'll, then that person will be the most horrendously evil heel in Saudi Arabia. That he'll never come back to the country again. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> for the for the sake of you know staying alive. I think for for the for the sake of the Mansoor argument, I think it would matter if NXT had its different branch locations at this point. Like if if they if they then turn around and brought out the local talent on the big show that they do in that given area, I think people would care a lot more. Well, that's but, the thing. He he he's not even been on NXT TV that often at all. It's like no, he, he, he much... can't even get on NXT. Yeah, but yeah. I'm talking I'm talking about like you know like like when they do this eventual rumored uh, NXT Japan and they have an NXT. Arena. Oh, the... it's stuff that we're not going to watch, but the local folk will do, Ooh. and then they'll bring out the specific guy from. The NXT local show, and they'll put them on the big show that happens in their area. So, like, if they ever do a an NXT Australia, and they go back and do Super Showdown back in Australia, and oh yeah, they ended, ended up doing that. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Mm. Yeah. Not NXT in general, because mm. I think I think you'll probably find that Mansoor's over in like the performance center in Saudi Arabia that they have. Be... They have a, they have a performance center. No, they, were, in... they, were, they, were, they were putting something up in Saudi Arabia. Maybe. Uh, hmm. anyway, Dolph Ziggler, bless him. D Dolph did Dolph. It's things. a paycheck. Dolph did Dolph things. He tried to make Mansoor look like you know the biggest a thousand star dollars world. as he does. It's not working. Him like crazy. Did everything that he could do went, well, I've got this tag team run I can go back to, and that was the end of that. <laughs> it was 9 minutes 21 seconds, if you're interested. Too so long! I mentioned that because... Because the yeah, next match was long. far shorter. Barack Lesnar, accompanied by Paul Heyman, versus Horikoshe. Can we just, can we just acknowledge... No, 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 before we do that, 
let's acknowledge the fact that in Saudi Arabia, the Jew manager <laughs> had everybody in the palm of his hand getting them to say his words along with him. Yeah. I thought that in itself <laughs> was amazing. Hmm. Um, from just just like just from a, a cultural well, they, perspective. Well, granted, they they respect the character more so than his, uh, oh, and no. they don't care about. Uh, well, apparently, they don't care about his ethnicity uh, at all. Yeah. Like, but oh uh, yeah, but, but from from that standpoint, that is in itself a pretty cool thing. Then the shovel came out. <laughs> oh, and it was shiny how can, gold. How can you bury someone who's already dead? Like, well, well, because we need to give him a trophy in the first match. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is all you, Turbo. So I, I, I don't even want to discuss that. Other, what? Other what other what's other there to discuss? Like, Ricochet had little to no bloody offense during this entire encounter, whatsoever. It's like he couldn't even. He couldn't even do any kind of like flippy shit with him at all ladies and gentlemen one order of flip no no flippy shit okay no That's... cancel that or cancel that order of flippy shit give me a refund debt on, on that order please i need a refund he tried, he tried to get the jump didn't he he tried to get the jump and for once he tried. Well, he wasn't jumped but oh god it was just nothing it was just practically nothing it's like ricochet could do so much he can he can run round circles on brock lesnar but nope brock lesnar wasn't wasn't uh, up for it tonight especially in saudi arabia i can't blame him so yeah this is pointless this is just as bad as uh kofi dropping the title to brock lesnar on a smackdown uh, one minute 34 seconds if you're interested for this match I can't believe it went that long. I can't even believe it went even one bloody minute. Oh my goodness. It's ridiculous. Oh, I want to hear your thoughts on Roman Reigns and King Corbin. Thank Christ. <laughs> it's over. Okay. Granted, thankfully, it's over. My God, did we have to wait so long to get through this the, shit. The only reason it's over is because if if Corbin won, Reigns wouldn't be able to uh, do what he did the following day. Yeah, well, yeah, on SmackDown, but like, because I, I almost I, I, they've really dropped the ball with Corbin again. They always do with whenever they whenever a person who has won the King of the Ring in this day and age, and it's like they don't know what to do with him. Push they him don't know what to do. With him. They, I honestly was hoping when they redid the brand split, we'd be looking at something like the SmackDown Six again. I honestly thought that's what yeah, we were. Yeah, we, we all were hoping that just because of what they would look, they looked like they were doing. But no. But the problem is, is that Vince still has the final say. They could easily have been aiming for that on respected brands, but yeah, again, when you have the final say, except for this guy. <laughs> Shut for this guy. Uh, it's it's in, disappointing. In fairness, in fairness, I actually kind of enjoyed that steel cage match. I actually liked the stuff that Corbin was doing quite a bit. Roman was just being Roman. Well, it's like he did. He did have the the foresight to try to stop. Corbin from using the door by chaining it up which is uh, behind him, which is fine. Yeah. It doesn't it's, stop them it's from a trying to detail. jump over the... It's a little detail top. which makes the face look smart. Because he's thinking ahead and he's outwitting the heel. It's a different way of getting the face over. But really, in all honesty, this was just not back. My, pro my, 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 my problem is, is that I think Cor uh, Corbin is more suited for a main event push than I think Reigns is. And I don't I don't think Reigns needs to be in the main title picture. Is it me or did I mean, this is moving forward. Is it me or did Roman Reigns pull a John Cena and just say I am the person challenging now? 
Well, I guarantee you, yeah, when Reigns beats Berg at Mania, the first person to line up and challenge is going to be Corbin. <clears throat> guarantee you. Smackdown afterwards, you're going to you're going to see Reigns be out on, on on the beginning of Smackdown. He'll have a celebratory thing saying, "I beat the part-timer. I've got the belt. I'll be defending it." And then all you hear is Event Corbin will challenge. And then we'll be back to Reigns versus Corbin. This is the feud that never ends. Hello, this Corbin, is the feud my old friend. friend. I see you have come back again. The He's never she's all kind of boring. You leave the audience half snoring. Let's just move on, really shall we? Because I'm getting sick and tired of this shit. Please just go away. I don't think Repeat Corbin's been today. that bad. Reigns, on the other hand, is boring to watch because uh, you know he is the Cena of the modern age. Mm-hmm. Also, every Roman Reigns match is pretty much the same now. Yeah. It's, it's that, it's I, that I, I'm, cover. Are, are you looking forward to when um, Reigns is essentially the the Goldberg for the next generation? Right. Where he'll come back. Where, where he'll come back and all he'll do is instead of spear jackhammer, it'll be Superman. Spear, Superman the spear punch. Superman punch. No, no, Superman actually, punch, then spear. Actually, I think it'll actually say about spear. I think it'll probably be Edge who gets the first shot. Uh, I don't think Edge will be in a. Well, being that he's I, also on the different brand, so yeah, not I, happening. I, I, I think. I, I don't think Edge. I think Edge will probably won't be tied down. I think Edge will be more of a part timer than he will. Oh yeah. Yeah, but people, people, they sort of set up a little bit in the Rumble, a little bit. Maybe split the spear off. Nah. Also, I, I do, I do want to say before we move on, while we're talking about Reigns, and we're going to be talking about Goldberg shortly. Michael Cole, get in a fucking bin and just throw yourself into the fucking fire. I'm not oh, sure don't worry. Got, don't I'm not worry. Sure, I'm not sure if you've watched Matt down this week, but uh, at the contract signing, he specifically went out of his way to be like, this is the match that no one, no one in a billion years ever saw coming. It's spear <laughs> versus spear. <laughs> oh. I didn't hear this, and by God, that was oh! oh it's no, just no. as it's just as bad as the call he made during the uh, Shane uh, Shane McMahon Undertaker Hell in a Cell match at uh, uh, WrestleMania. For the love of mankind! Yes, <laughs> it's just as bad, but and remember, by God, it's that. That's a great instance, though. Of when does Michael Cole annoy you? When Michael Cole has to read from the script or repeat something that's in his ear. When Michael yeah. Cole is not doing that, when he was with that same SmackDown, when he, was with, when he was with Trips, and Michael Cole gets to be Michael Cole, and you know, he's Michael, Cole was la- Michael Cole was laughing and joking. When was the last time you saw that? Michael Cole was at uh, the time of his life and was still having crap thrown at him. When was the last time you saw hit. that of the man? Nineteen, uh, two thousand and one. Roughly, pro- probably, actually, roughly, around, yeah. around then, maybe later, the, ta- like the Taz era, maybe. Um, but that was the Taz era. Yeah, 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 yeah but it's to go Taz and you're into JBL. Um, oh, well, 2002 then. Yeah, but it, it just shows you. It just shows you. when he's, We've said this before with, with the stuff, when he's not on the leash, Cole's entertaining and has a good time and is happy and is a completely different commentator. <sighs> Anyway, so yeah, Roman Reigns defeated King Corbin in the battle of please in in the battle of everybody wanted to see Roman Reigns and, win. And now we're on to the match where Kevin's got some words. I think it's uh, Naomi versus Bailey. The only thing that I really wanted to point out here there's um, the difference between the first match and the first women's match and the second women's match. Um, because we, because the first was, we kind of ignored face and heel. It was a match. It was respect. Yeah. Um, Lace, because Lacey Evans was this despicable heel, and then she came into it, and her and Natalia was like handshake. Yes, yeah, sports shake. We've done this thing for women everywhere. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> the sports washing thing is still a thing. 
and will continue to be a thing. It doesn't erase it doesn't just... everything else that's going on. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't, doesn't get resolved overnight. It doesn't get resolved. What was interesting was the progression, because you've gone from that, which I said before, to an actual face and heel. Mm. Bailey playing the heel as a, this is a woman you should hate to the audience, and Naomi being obviously Naomi, and this is a face you should, this is a woman you should love, is different and is progression of a sort. Mm -hmm. I thought Bailey actually played to the audience quite well under the circumstances. Yeah, basically she has been better um, as as a heel go, uh, going on, and it's just been working well for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like uh, I had my criticisms, but no, she's been able to put it well. And like I said, uh, she acts as the kind of like chicken chicken shit heel for uh, the while, building up to this match and whatnot. And then she was able to kind of like be devious and try to, you know, she gets the win in a very in a very uh, unique fashion uh, with how you know how they're limited with uh, what they can you know. Uh, well, how they can present themselves there. Yeah. And they the, use we're, still that the, the, we're still in the full outfits and the, and the t-shirt over the top. Yeah, Naomi, right. Naomi still had made... her spin on that, which was good yeah. for the character. Yeah, good and see, they good, put... Good to see Naomi back at all, by the way. Oh, yeah. Nice to see her back. Uh, oh, I, although I didn't see now. I didn't see her with uh, her disco ball head. Whatever that is. And so, oh, and I know. On this show. The LED, the, the LED hit. Yeah, I didn't see it on this no, show. No. I guess it didn't uh, make it on the trip. But, uh, one off probably. Hmm. But um, no, I mean overall the the that the match was serviceable. You know, it, it, was, it was it was good. It was good. For, it, was, it was good for what it was. It was eleven minutes, eleven and a half minutes, and didn't feel that. For me. No, I thought that I thought it was it was it was more than fine. It it did stuff. That Naomi and Bobby both got in some some good moves. I can't actually remember the finish. What happened at the finish? Uh, the finish was basically, uh, um, what was it? Bailey got uh, um, Naomi's, Naomi's shoe kind of like in her fucking shirt. Yeah, use oh, the t-shirt. Yeah, to, yeah. She, they, did, they did the bloody Shakara finish. <laughs> Which, um, clever. And then uh, Bailey just did her finish, uh, her new finish. I've forgotten what it is. It's kind of like a stroke, but it's, uh, it's like a sort of stunted flatliner type thing, or yeah. something like that. Aye. Like... And uh, yeah, she got the pin pinfall win. So yeah, yeah. He evil heel win retains her title due to uh, shenanigans. So shenanigans. Yeah. shenanigans, shenanigans. Well, shall we talk about the final burial of the evening? Oh fuck, mate! What that? All of that, all of that for the, all that for the audience, all of that for me, all of that for John, probably all of that for Pete. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> all that. Pete, Pete, you've made Pete excited. Look at his eyebrows go. <laughs> if you're listening to this on the podcast, you're missing out on those eyebrows, guys. Um, yeah. So this whole thing of of the fiend being set up to be this ultimate. This ultimate wrestling entity. This ultimate, nothing can harm him. Nothing. Nothing at all. The man, the man did take like four, five spears. And then it was just a, a really he also shit took jackhammer. About, he also took oh. about 11 and a half stomps. Why have we made him this thing in terms of the run up to WrestleMania and then we just gone, whoops, it's not him anymore. Oh my god, oh my what the hell? And we've trust me Goldberg for some bloody reason. Trust me. When I saw that shitty attempt of a goddamn jackhammer, you know fine he cannot do this any more. No, 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 Stop him! He can, he just can't lift. Like Bray is no, he he was able to lift up Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, who is probably the, about the same size as as Bray Wyatt. Wow, John, he was able John, to. Do it, John but it was a, two years ago, John being yeah. a person who's fat shaming, I never thought I'd see a day. Yeah, it's, it's not the question of that; it's a question of strength. 
And yeah. that's something to concern yourself with if you're then going to put him up against a very tall man, such as... Well, you mean like when he was up against The Undertaker? Well, yeah, uh, The Undertaker. Yeah. Isn't somebody who's similar height to The Undertaker, Mr. Roman Reigns? <laughs> it makes no sense for The for the Fiend character. The end of the match made even less sense, because like, why the hell would The Fiend just go get, get angry and then disappear? Oh, you stole my toy. I'm going to go play with John I'm Dina. Vanish. Three minutes, eight seconds is on the clock. Three minutes, eight seconds to completely undo all of this character progression that you've done for this character uh, in terms of building them up. You've just, I think you've, this great, in fairs, it's, 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 it's a kind of a great build for the Fiend as this, you know, this... This the mysterious problem, individual through to, you know, the, this, this, this force of nature. The problem lies in the fact that they put the belt on Bray. Yeah. yeah. They, 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 if they, 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 didn't, if they didn't put the belt on Bray and just continued to let him just destroy the card, I think the character would work better. Yeah. Br if Bray was at that point where the, the Fiend character didn't need the belt. In any shape or form. But they put themselves into a corner and they ended up just screwing the character because they interfered with it. Like, because uh, yeah, I, I, I like this idea of Bray Wyatt going through and fighting people who Bray's lost to over yeah, the years. People who have that, wronged that, Bray. Yeah, Goldberg's done nothing. He should have just like given him the belt and just... I don't, I don't, I don't need to fight you. I don't want to fight you. There's no need. You haven't like the fiend shouldn't have been there. This would have worked out better if it was Bray versus Berg, and not the fiend, because then Bray would have lost and not the fiend. Yeah, and, and then you could have had something down the line where the fiend could have challenged because Goldberg wronged Bray, and I think that would have been the better outcome of this entire thing. When all said and done, if of those three minutes and eight seconds, three minutes and seven seconds is pretty clunky. Are you telling me that this should have been the rebirth of three minute warning? Is this what this did, entire car Did you hear someone to... say three minutes? Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's do that. That would have been preferable. It would have made as okay. much sense. Okay. Go on. Let's get back to basics. And I, because he's got his head in his hands, I wanted to look at the camera. John Turbo Finley. Look at the fucking camera and tell me a score. Oh, you want a score for the whole thing? The score for or the whole just thing. that one match? Because I'll give you minus five stars for that shit. Um, You're being kind, sir. <laughs> Goldberg versus The Fiend was a six star match and you know it. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, the whole, the whole pay per view as a whole, like, there was only a couple of ble bleating things. This. This can't get any more than three from me. Well, that's generous. I'm, be I'm be I am being too generous. It's, uh, it's like, uh, you know, the women's match and the the woman, um, Miz and Morrison. Miz and Morrison. Hey, hey. Day match. Ho, ho. So yeah, you know, three. I'm being three too generous. Three. Jesus. Okay, Mr. Kevin. Three. Uh, three. Out of three. All, three all day oh, yeah. long. Free. If it wasn't for Miz and Morrison, I'd rate this match a zero. Uh, this card a zero. This, this match? <laughs> Jeez. Um, because of Miz and Morrison, it is a one. A one. Wow. That is straight up the lowest Singular! score I've ever had. Singular! I think that's the lowest score even the other pay per views we've ever had. Hey, editor, check that. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty certain the previous ones were like, we had a three and a three and a four, a three and a three and a three. Yeah, possibly. That is, so that is possibly. straight up yeah. the worst in terms of... And the thing is, the thing is, it's not like everything was terrible here. Well, it, it wasn't, wasn't like everything was everything awesome Everything was very average. I'll tell you this but much. It's everything... got... It, that happened Every in it 
was pointless beyond belief. Yeah, I agree. No, every everything was average. Everything was predictable, which is <clears throat> more so the problem. Like you know what? So it's, 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 it's complacency. Well, here's the thing. It's so boring. Boy. That, it, I, I'm I'm thinking that I I'd actually just suggest that we just like start just doing only the AEW pay per views and then only do <laughs> the WWE stuff. Big Four, the WWE Big Four, and that I, I'm literally just suggesting that at this oh, point. Oh God! I, just, I, just maybe, pivot maybe, over maybe to Maybe we it. just maybe we just for our own sake, just say this is the one. Unless there's like a big gap. We just say the Saudi Arabia shows we just don't do. I agree. I'm up for that. Because I almost don't because I want to see John suffer. Oh, fuck you. (laughs) Honestly, (laughs) you want to see me suffer? But that's three or four hours out of our lives that could be done, that better things could happen in that. Like, I don't know. A nuclear holocaust. <laughs> or a pandemic. But <laughs> other what? things that would be more enjoyable than the Saudi Arabia shows. I'm not even sure the Saudi Arabia shows total scores between, you know, all the ones that we've recovered so far. If you put, like, all of your scores together, John, or all of Pete's scores together, or my scores together, I don't think individually we'd have got to a 10 yet. If you even add think, all up all those scores, I think it is, that I think that's a job for editor Kev. WWE, WWE, with the exception of recently, which I will grant you, WWE has it, certainly in 2019. It was an absolute chore. You just, uh, you and just the feel like shows the bottom of that very well scraped barrel. You just feel like with legitimate i can't even say legitimate because there is competition out there for wwe it's just not as in your face because wwe have only put aew in everybody's face off their own back you know and it's it's it's, it's wwe's own fault that uh, aew are on everybody else's radar because they've gone out of their way to legitimately just get in their own face about it whereas they don't do that with they they didn't do it with TNA. They haven't done it with uh, New Japan or anything else like that or anything else. It's just they've only gone toe to toe with AEW. And now AEW's on the radar. And you would have thought with the fact that AEW's on the radar, they'd be putting out much better content. But they're not. The best stuff that WWE puts out is not the stuff in the ring. The best stuff that WWE put out are things like, you know, the 24 7, 24s yeah, and the 365s and the Chronicles and, you know, the the look backs at, you know, Kane's yeah. debut and everything else that they've, they've, they've done. Hell, the this the, the, the Ruthless um, Aggression series is such a joy to watch. Mm-hmm. It might, I be, it might why. be It might be, a, it might be a nostalgia thing, but it's, it's so much fun. <laughs> It's always been the nostalgia thing, essentially. You know, we 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 call it, I mean, Christ, I keep harking back to two thousand because it's always like two thousand was the year that got me into the whole thing. Yeah, same. Uh, Royal Rumble. And, Royal Rumble. No. Yeah. Royal Rumble. So like, Channel Four. Two thousands. We've said it before. Foley versus H. Yeah. Yeah, we said it before, and it's like that. That was like a heyday for all of us. Yeah. And and we and yeah. we've also said if we ever went to do like look backs. Uh, other shows and, and you know, other shows from that's the- where we'd we be would sorry. start we've all said we would start there because that is so important in terms in terms of the UK market as well just as a whole Channel, Channel 4's coverage of everything back in the day even like Sunday Night Heat the, you know the, the TV sun, TV package Sunday Night Heat with all the oh no he's here he's up on a chair quick look at the audience um, that was so good Damn it. Anyway, I miss fully loaded. <laughs> I can't stop missing fully loaded. I was unforgiven. Oh, um, but tonight, oh. I have no mercy. These dice are fully loaded, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. If you, we're a little bit late putting this one out, but if you're gonna, if you find this and you're still deciding if you want to watch Super Showdown 2020, don't go and watch the Royal Rumble 2000. 
It's, it's, it's the most yeah, better use yes, of your time. That's the better recommendation. Yes. Or alternatively, just just watch Miz and Morrison versus New Day. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. ho, ho. YouTube's an option. It is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. From myself, Pete Tarts, Good Never Coat, Mr. Kevin, the Kevin Eva Eva, and John Turbo Finley. Until the next time. Bye-bye.